The LG G Flex is a really cool phone. The 6-inch OLED screen easily blows everything else out of the water. It's just beautiful to look at and watch media on, though I wish it had front-facing speakers and the buttons on the back are kind of hard to get used to. The curved body seemed gimmicky at first, but after using it for a while, it just makes sense. It forms to your leg in your front or rear pocket a million times better than if you had this large screen on a rigid frame in your pocket. The self-healing back is really just marketing. Between LG and MKBHD, the phone holds up to mild scratching, but in the simple drop test that I did, the phone's back actually held up worse than any other device that I've tested. The curved design protects the screen really well, but the body's self-healing plastic is somewhat soft, so it makes hard drops on concrete look awful. So let's crank up the torture test and see how far the G-Flex flexes before it breaks and if the body can self-heal a grazing from a bullet. Today I'll be using my AR-15 chambered in AAC 300 Blackout. So after the first few tests, whenever I put the phone on the table and did the MKBHD test where he pushed down on it, I noticed that the, the middle of the screen had a little bit of a bump in the middle of it. I don't know if that was the internal components uh, trying to bulge out or whatnot, but after doing this, hyper extending it, I see a bunch of little bumps in here, but the screen still works. After doing the water drop test and everything, I dropped the phone in the water, pulled it out immediately, shut it off, and stuck it into a bowl of rice, tried absorbing all the water. Uh, all the water was gone from the camera lens and the flash. After 24 hours of having it in there, powered it back on, and the display started doing some funky stuff. Obviously, there was still some, uh, some water in there and everything, but the display still worked. The camera still worked. It's able to take photos with it by uh, hitting the, the camera button and everything. And even now, after hyperextending the screen, I can take and I can start touching, touching the screen. Even though the, there's nothing on it right now, I can feel it vibrating. So I know that the camera's working. I can take and uh, snap some pictures and stuff like that. So I'll try to pull those off before I shoot the, uh, the back side of it here. But it actually went a lot further than what I thought it was going to. Uh, this, this, I'm not sure what type of glass or uh, plastic that they use on this. I feel the foam vibrating right now. <laughs> um, but it obviously flexes a lot more than what you would expect. The phone is still functioning properly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how the soft plastic holds up to a grazing by the bullet. I'm not going to try to hit it directly yet. Uh, the first one I'll just graze by it and see if it if it smooths out or self heals on it. It's fairly warm out here in the desert today, so we'll see if a little bit of a light scratch will uh, heal from a bullet, and then I'll take and I'll flip it long ways or something like that, because I straightened the body out by hyper extending it. Uh, it might actually look really good just cutting, cutting right down the middle with it and everything. So let's see how that goes. I think I hit it. So I'm trying to compensate because it's like a, a 30 caliber round. So I was trying to aim off to the side of it a little bit, but I might have. Nope. <laughs> I didn't get a, uh, a direct hit on it. I actually did graze it. All right, cool. So what I was trying to do, and what looks like I did, was I was trying to aim just a little bit off to the side to compensate for what the size of the 30 caliber round would be. But the way that thing flew off of there, I could have swore I, I might have uh, messed up and hit it. It's like I just grazed it just a little bit right there, and that's actually about how much I was wanting to hit it. I didn't want to completely cut into it because I wanted to give it that little bit of a scratch that the, the copper could give uh, passing by, but it just wrecked the screen on this. So I can't wait to see the rated R slow-mo playback on that. So I'm going to flip this guy sideways here. Instead of trying to graze it, I'm going to try to get a down the middle shot right there and uh, just completely wreck it. And, Go ahead and retire the LG G Flex.
Yeah! <laughs>